Welcome back now to a public plea today from the family of the Menendez brothers to release the men from prison. Eric and Lyle Menendez are serving life sentences without the possibility of parole for killing their parents in 18, 18, 1989. The Los Angeles District Attorney is now reviewing the case and ABC's Rena Roy reports the family is hoping they'll be home in time for the holidays. It's a murder case that has recaptivated the nation. 35 years later with the new Netflix documentary and drama series catapulting the Menendez brothers back into the spotlight. Everyone asks why we kill their parents. And now family members will try to push the Los Angeles District Attorney to recommend resentencing for Eric and Lyle Menendez who are currently serving life sentences without the possibility of parole after shooting and killing their parents in their home in 1989. Lyle was 21, Eric was 18. You could see when they were younger that there was these two lively fun children young boys who just became sadder and sadder through the years the family arguing the allegations of sexual abuse should be considered in the sentencing the DA says he's reevaluating the case, citing new evidence, including a letter written to a cousin detailing allegations of sexual abuse at the hands of their father, Jose, and a recent assault allegation by Roy Rossello, a former member of the band Menudo. The significance is now, oh, this does support that this man, Jose Menendez, was a sexual predator. ABC's Juju Chang sitting down with the DA, some questioning his agenda. Some people call the timing of the decision political because you're up for re-election yeah. and this raises headlines. If you think that Netflix is somewhat conspiring with me to release this documentary that they have been working on for years, let me just put it this way, there would have been a much easier path to be elected and getting re-elected than the path that I have taken. While the DA can recommend resentencing, it is the court that has to do so. The court is going to have to determine whether this new evidence, uh, it shows that in effect, at the time of trial, maybe the outcome would have been different. The DA tells ABC that he plans to make a decision on this case sometime this month. The family today will be joined by the brother's attorney, Mark Garagos, as well as Rosie O'Donnell. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.